Hi guys, it's Emily. Welcome back to my channel. So we are up to letter W in the 3 and 30 alphabet challenge that was set forth by the lovely Tina Chappy Dabby Duda. Um, I can't believe we're almost done. Um, I'm In a way, I'm kind of glad. And then in another way, I'm kind of like, wow, this was, you know, this was kind of cool. Um, I, I feel like you guys liked it. Um, you know, you can let me know if you like this kind of thing. Um, because, you know, once it's over, I need, I need some ideas. Let me know what you want. Um, okay, so W. Tina did, um, like, where the wild things are. So, um, she did more of a, um, oh, let me, I'm trying to think of the right way to describe it. If you haven't watched hers, um, she has a, 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 a kit called, um, hmm something safari. I can't remember now what it's actually called, but it's got a lot of bright colors and safari animals and that kind of thing. So I think she did a lot with that and, you know, just kind of like wild. Um, I am going more with wildlife, um, and like woodland, um, just because that's what I have. So I didn't really have anything that fit her, you know, kind of description of, um, you know, what she was doing for letter W. So that's what I'm doing. I'm doing like wildlife, woodland creatures, that kind of thing. So I hope you guys don't mind. Um, it's just, you know, we don't all have the same supplies and the same things. So it's just, we have to work with what we have, right? All right, so um, what I have is three like base items here. I have an avocado dyed uh, tag, um, which I think is just, uh, I, I, it got some really cool patterns on it. Um, I have a, just a paper, um, bag here, just a small paper bag. And then I have a blank, um, library card catalog, uh, card. So I'm going to do something with all of those. And then I have a piece of this gorgeous, I think it's rice paper. I think somebody told me it was rice paper, but I got this from the lovely Dee Dee. Um, she sent me a few sheets of these gorgeous, um, like woodland winter, um, Prince, and I want to use this fox so I think he's gorgeous um, I have a couple Edith Holden pages because I'm going to do um, a, a book page pocket and tag kind of thing um, and then which means I guess I don't need anyway whatever it's fine um, I have more than I need here but that's better than not having enough right and then I have a whole packet of um, like woodland stickers um so some of them are vellum and some of them are not uh some of them are very much um you know not my style per se but i just pulled them out because i thought maybe maybe we could um maybe we'll need something you know to kind of fill in but there's some mushrooms and you know i think there were like some hedgehogs in here i can't remember Oh, there's a cute little fox. Maybe we'll use him. He's cute. Anyway, I guess I shouldn't get ahead of myself. Oh, it looks like I have a couple foxes, but I'm going to pull him out anyway. All right. And then I have a couple books over here too. I have um, a butterflies and moths guide and then a bird um, guide as well. I don't know if we'll need those, but I just pulled them out uh, just in case. All right. So let's go ahead and start the timer. All right, well, I know that I want to use this fox, and I think, um, I think I'm going to put him on the bag because he fits kind of perfectly. And um, what I'm going to do is, what am I going to do? I am going to put glue stick all over the front of this, of this bag. Um, and then glue down the paper. It seems to work pretty well. I've, I've done it this way before. Um, and then wherever I don't get glue, you know, like on the edges, um, I'll just hopefully be able to tear, um, the paper, but I just want to make sure I have enough in the middle to hold this down really well. So yeah, I hope you guys are having a good day. I am filming ahead still. Um, so when you see these, we will be in 
hopefully sunny and not, oh dang it, too hot, uh, Florida. <laughs> Yesterday, apparently it was like 90 degrees. I'm like, no, it's only March. <laughs> uh, it needs to be, you know, comfortable when we're down there, not so hot that we can't stand it. Um, but you know, who knows? It is what it is. It's Florida. <laughs> it's Florida. So, uh, hopefully it won't be, you know, I would be happy with seventies. That would be great if we get some, you know, nice seventies weather and maybe, well, I mean, it's Florida, so it's always humid, but maybe it won't be like ridiculously humid. So yeah, that is what I'm hoping for. <laughs> You never know. You never know. I'm going to let that dry a little bit, actually, um, before I tear it. So let's move on to the next thing, and then we'll go back to that. So if you see here, this is an Edith Holden page, but there's some uh, pheasants down here. And I'm like, well, that's wildlife for sure, right? And then you've got like, oh, was I out of frame? No, I'm good. The little pheasants down here. And then, you know, you've got the woods in the background. So I thought that would make... Um, a nice uh, pocket. Let me find my tear ruler. I'm okay with a torn edge, but this kind of is out of hand over here. So I'm hoping that I can maybe uh, tear this a little nicer. We shall see. I'm kind of, uh, my tear ruler and I are not on speaking terms right now. It's not the tear ruler's fault. <laughs> um, I just don't have any strength in my hands and arms right now. Um, I think it's I think it's due to my neck issues, uh, and yeah, so I can't seem to hold the ruler down um, hard enough to you know be able to tear. Does that make sense? Like it's not, yeah. You have to be able to like hold it in place and it just wants to move on me all the time. Okay, I'm, I'm it's not even, but uh, whatever, it's fine. Okay, so I learned this from Tracy Fox and yeah, basically you just wanna make your pocket uh, Sort of like, you know, you just want enough um, meeting up here to be able to glue it. And I want more, I think I'm going to do it like less centered. So give me just a second. I am attempting to fold this. <laughs> I want those pheasants uh, to be as much on the front of this as possible. So what I'm doing is I'm just, I'm making, um, making it an uncentered back, which, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. You can do whatever, whatever works for you. Now I just need to line it up here. Um, I don't know where my bone folder is right now, so we're going to use the back of both these scissors. And because I tore that crooked, you know, it just kind of looks silly, but that's fine. Um, all right, and I think I'm going to cut, I'm going to turn around and use my um, trimmer and just cut the top of that off. And before I glue it together, I want to put a notch in the top. So we'll do that real quick. Like so. And then probably should add a little ink. I changed the sponge 
on this. So it's a pretty dark color though, so I should be able to, uh, you know, I don't need to dab it forever, if you know what I mean. ink ever um I think you know some of us always ink and then I feel like newbies are like well you know I'm not doing it right if I'm not inking at all right um but that's not true you don't have to ink anything if you don't have ink don't worry about it if you want the look of ink um and you don't have ink you can use uh, a sharpie or some sort of permanent marker um, and it, it's the same effect, um, you know, you can get, even if it's just a black Sharpie, um, you know, you can still get that like outlined effect. Oh, so sorry. Oh my gosh. Um, you know, without having to go and buy ink. All right. I want to use our glitter glue for this. I ordered a new glue and I can't wait, um, to get it. It's, I think it's going to be very similar to the Art Glitter Glue. Um, I think it's called Barely Art Glue. Um, and uh, <laughs> honestly, it's adorable because the, um, the like large refill is in a bear shaped uh, bottle. So it reminds me of like a honey, you know, container. Um, <laughs> It's super cute. Anyway, it comes with even more precision um, tips, you know, than the art glitter glue. You know, you only get the one. Um, so there's an even, t what, what appears to be an even more tiny, an even tinier, that, that's better, Emily. Let's use proper English. Um, an even tinier precision tip. Um, so I'm super excited to get it. Uh, I don't know when it'll get here. Probably, uh, probably not before we go away. I don't know. I ordered it like from the actual company because um, they were having a, a sale and free shipping and all that. All right. Then what we do is um, I'm actually going to score this like right here and I will turn around and do that real quick. Nope. I'm not going to do that because I just turned around and realized I have about 3000 things on my uh, scoreboard right now. <laughs> So we'll do it this way. Um, and again, this is another tip. If you don't have a scoreboard, it's okay. Use uh, just, you know, a straight edge of some sort and get your, you know, get your crease started. And then again, if you don't have a bone folder, you can just use uh, the back of your scissors. And my desk is such a mess right now um, that, you know, it's like I don't have the things that I do have. All right, now what we're gonna do, um, let me ink this fold line because then it'll be easier even for you to see what I'm talking about. All right, so if you see where, this is our crease, this is where it folds, right? We're gonna take our scissors and just cut a slight angle Okay, and we're gonna do it on both sides. I'm gonna I turn it over because it's just easier. Don't worry about it being exactly perfect, as long as you just you know miter it a little bit. And then what I do um, to just avoid like extra bulk, I cut this piece off. So you're gonna fold this right. So you want to make sure you leave that outer flap, but you can cut all of this away. Um, just make sure you don't accidentally cut. Um, you know, into that back flap. There you go. And it doesn't matter, you know, how ugly your cutting is because you're not going to see it. All right, let's go ahead and add ink to our flap piece. I feel like I'm going to run out of time today, but maybe not. Everything is falling over. All right, and then just 
glue this flap. Anyway, I'm excited about my new glue. I'll let you know. I'll let you know what I think. They're not paying me to tell you, by the way, just so you know. I bought it on my own. <laughs> I saw an ad. It was actually on Instagram for it. And I don't usually go and uh, purchase things like that. But it was a really good deal um, compared to what Amazon had it for. Okay. So then what you do, basically, if you, if you use the same, use pages from the same book, this works um, pretty well. So what we're going to do is um, I'm going to trim off, let's see, I'm going to trim off the top and the bottom and just a little bit off the side and we'll see if we need to trim more. So if you fold this in half, it should fit inside. Um, yeah, I can always, if I need to, I can trim a bit more, but I'm just trying to fold it at the moment, which is seeming to kick my behind. <laughs> I'm still not 100% sold on the, um, the glass mat. I like it in some ways, but then other ways I really, really, really don't like it at all. Um, yeah, it's too slippery maybe. All right, let's see if that's going to fit. Nope, I need to take a little bit off. Come on, there we go. All right, so that'll fit really well. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna use glue stick in the middle, <clears throat> excuse me. This glue stick is behaving weirdly. And then just um, around the edges, use the art glitter glue. You could sew this for sure. Um, I have done that before, but it's not necessary. I kind of like these um, challenges as a way to um, you're kind of forced to use simple supplies and materials, right? Like there's not time to sew and, you know, do all this fancy stuff, which I think is great for beginners that might be watching um, just to see, you know, you don't need all this fancy stuff um, to be able to make something really pretty, right? All right, I am going to round all the corners on this. Now, um, you, you know, there's some writing space here, so I'm okay with leaving it, you know, like this. Um, I don't think you need to, you know, back it. You can, if you want to. Um, I chose just a text page kind of on purpose. Um, I don't know. Now that I say that, I can't really give you the reason, but I did do it on purpose. Um, yeah, I don't know. I have no idea. Oh, prop well, no, that doesn't really make sense either. I don't know. I'm just going to shut up. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. All right. So we can decorate this a little bit if we want to. 
Um, we have this adorable little fox sticker. My problem with it is it's got all this white around it. Oh, and I don't feel like I have enough time to, um, you know, like fussy cut around it. So, yeah, we might do something else. Oh, so, okay, that one's a little better. It's not as much white. So, all right, let's go with that. And... I mean, I think this might be upside down, but um, I don't care because I want it to go there. <laughs> so I'm going to go for it. Uh, I think we're going to run out of time today, guys. Whatever. I don't care. It is what it is, right? Oh, my gosh. I'm going to blame it on the stickers. Can I do that? Is that, is that cool with everyone? <laughs> well, you know what? Before we do that... No. Oh my goodness. Okay, got it. I think. Don't want to bulk this up, you know, too much because you want it to fit inside, but um I think it's fun to add a little something. I should have. I should have put the vellum one over top. <laughs> oh well. Oh well. Okay, and then so you have your tag, right? Um, we need something on the top, I think. Um question is what what should we put on the top I have this like just piece of this will work where's my I'm trying to be quick now because I feel like I'm gonna run out of time and I Hate that I said I don't care but I do I care I care all right there we go cute right I think it's cute I think it's cute okay let's go back to this guy he's probably dry does this paper tear I've never like messed with this in this way before, so I'm just trying to concentrate and not um, not tear off like a big chunk of you know the actual fox because that's what I want to be left behind here. There we go. Okay. Oh, look at it. That's sweet. All right, let's add a little bit of ink because I have a problem. I'll tell you this, if you don't want to start inking, don't buy ink. <laughs> like if you don't want to be, if you don't, <laughs> I didn't mean it that way. That sounded, um, no, I didn't mean it that way. I'm trying to find a piece of paper to use as I, just, I wanted to ink this edge, but I don't want to get ink behind there. There we go. That works. All right. Oh, he is super cute. Okay, we need to 
move faster though. I'm not moving fast enough. Let's find oh, maybe a mushroom to add behind him. Or I mean not not behind him. Just looking for vellum ones. Some more of that. I think I need to organize my stickers differently. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> it's, it's sort of a hot mess. All right, I don't have enough time. I still need to make a whole nother item. Oh goodness, all right. with the mushrooms. Come on. <laughs> Why is this such a ridiculously hard process? There we go. Not as, not as see through as I would like it to be, but what are you going to do? Come on. I even have nails right now. Usually I anticipate this being more of a problem when, you know, uh, my fingernails are shorter. Hmm. Well, I kind of wanted to layer those, but I'm not liking how that looks at all. Not even a little. Oh. Nothing can be done about it now, I guess. Um, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I can... Well, there. I don't, I just don't like how these look. Oh, all right, I need something else. Something else. Okay, get off of me. <laughs> Guys, we might only get two items done today. Oh, I'm going to be really bummed if that's the case. I mean, I knew I was going to run out of time, but I didn't think it was going to be quite that bad. Sorry, I'm just uh, trying to think how I can fix this debacle. <sighs> um, I guess I should have brought more, um, more stuff over here with me. I don't know why these aren't as, um, see-through. I feel like I've had better, better stickers in the past, maybe. Oh, I'm kind of bummed about this now. Well, if I'm out of time, I'm out of time. So um, let me see if I can find something. Ah! 
All right, we're gonna go nuts. <laughs> Let's pretend like I actually did um, the correct number of items, even though I did not. Um, play along with me here. Uh, yeah. Play with fire. So this is very satisfying, by the way, if you do not have, sorry, there's smoke everywhere though. Um, if you've never done this, I highly recommend um, getting some sort of kit. The one I have is just, this is just from Hobby Lobby. It was on clearance for like a couple dollars and there it's, it's numbers, so it's nothing fancy, but um, you know. It's fun to play with. All right. It does tend to smoke a lot. Um, I don't want my smoke detector to go off, so there we go. says to use a wet sponge uh, just to make sure this doesn't stick. I always just use a baby wipe because that's what I have nearby. I've never done this over cheesecloth before. We'll see. This might be weird. Could be very weird. <laughs> it's been that kind of video though, right? So why not go for it? Oh, no. Actually, that's pretty cool. All right. There's... <laughs> That's actually pretty cool. All right. Um, yeah, I'm just going to call that one done because I'm not sure what else, uh, what else to do with it. Um, yeah, I feel really bad that I only did two items. I'm feeling bummed about that, guys. What did I do? Did I put those away? Hmm. Well, darn. It's going to be just, that's just going to be, yeah. All right, hold on one second. I had something over here. going over time. I apologize, but I, I have to, I have to get three things done or I'm just going to feel like I have completely failed on this video. Look how cute, Look how absolutely adorable this little deer is. Oh my gosh. I'm in love with him. He is so cute. Hush you. Oh, I think that's cute. All right, let's get some glue down here.
This is the very sloppy, lazy way to put a doily down. <laughs> uh, but, you know, like I said, it's, it's, uh, it's just that kind of day. It's okay. And then we can just cut around that then. Trying to at least stay in frame for you. All right. And we'll put our little fawn on here. He's so cute. was going to be hanging off the top. We don't want that. All right, let's cut. Oops. Cut off the extra doily here. That's cute. I like it. All right, let's find something um, to put in the top here. Oh, goodness. Oh, I know what we'll use. Oh, sorry. I'll just reach over here. Let's use some twine. All right, guys, I'm sorry that I went over. Ugh. Oh, well, it is what it is. I can't do anything about it. Um, you know, I'm gonna try. I don't know if this will go through, but let's try. Nope. I was gonna double it over, but it's, it's not gonna go through that little tiny. Eyelet. So I don't even know if I don't even know if this is gonna go through this tiny little eyelet, but we're gonna try. There we go. There. Okay. Well, you know, you're not going to win them all. <laughs> and I think it's okay. It is what it is. This turned out adorable. Um, this turned out better than I thought it was going to. Um, I'm happy with, with that. I like, I like how that, um, it didn't, yeah, it's pretty cool. I was worried that the cheesecloth was gonna, you know, like, and maybe that would have been cool too if it would have kind of like come through the wax but um i am happy with that and then we have this ginormous pocket that probably won't fit in any journal that i ever make oh, and a tag inside <laughs> all right guys um i hope you found that entertaining if nothing else um and yeah <laughs> Um, I will see you, uh, soon. Um, I have no idea when, like, I have things scheduled to upload while we're away. 
Um, so I have no idea like what's coming next, but um, <laughs> I hope you enjoy it. Um, if you did enjoy this, please give it a thumbs up and you know, don't be scared. Um, I usually do a much better job. <laughs> So go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I'd love to to have you stick around and uh, and uh, you know join me in future endeavors. <laughs> All right, guys, have a good day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.